my god. This is the worst thing that I've ever seen. The worst? Uh, as someone who shares your closet, I know for a fact that is not the worst thing you have in there. <laughs> hey, if you're confident, you can pull it off. You'll be the talk of the town when you go out. Things I am not confident. Yeah, things he does not do go out. Oh. Uh, that's not true. He was an avid ding-dong ditcher. <laughs> and little Sun Young would just wait in the car. I was the getaway driver. <laughs> Weren't you, like, 14? Okay, Lizzie's mom was getaway driver, but she enjoyed my company. Oh, she sure did, hon. <laughs> well, I clearly stand corrected. Yeah, Julie, your husband used to be cool. Before. Here we go. <laughs> what? It's fucking true. Oh, and then he got married to me, and I made him boring, right? Don't. I admire your self-awareness. Oh, Boom! Oh, Jesus, man. Ew. No, I don't want this. No way in hell is that my fucking steal. Okay, somebody please just go steal or pick something else. I should be halfway through Home Alone right now. And uh, I should be halfway through my second bottle of wine. Damn, does she drink you out of house and home? Yeah, well, when Nick comes over, the wet bar's empty in five minutes. <laughs> Care Bear and I put in work. That's right, baby. Maybe this year you can get drunk enough again where you run outside naked and make snow angels. One can only hope. <laughs> only thing about snow angels is kind of need a little bit of snow. Oh, I wish it would snow tonight. Not gonna happen. The first fall usually happens after the new year. It'll come. Okay, pick. Your turn. Come on, babe. Give me something good. Pick me out a new car. Well, I sure as hell know it's not gonna be an engagement ring. Well, somebody already got my gift in. It was a Space Jam DVD. Don't so, yeah, ruin it with a DVD because of you. Yes, yes, we all know that Nick will never propose to Sun Young because he knows deep down that she's too good for him, so Ooh. please proceed, Nick. Can you just admit that it bothers it you? It does not bother me. You're right. Thank you. I used the wrong word. I meant piss. It pisses you off. I appreciate your concern, but we are in a good place. Lizzie, please, please do not mention anything later. Does he still sleep on the couch? He does, yeah. Because the mattress is too rough for him. Oh my god. You know he had that bad tendency. Oh my god, look, do you love me, hon? Uh-huh. Okay, then can you say I love you, hon? I love you, hon. Then will you listen to what I have to say? Will you let go of my face if I do? Maybe. If Nick sees us right now, he is going to be very turned on. <laughs> well, it was nice to be held so aggressively for a second. I'm kidding, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. Could this be? I suppose we'll never know. It's a calendar of dogs taking shits. <laughs> yeah, it's the same face I made. <laughs> You've really outdone yourself this time, Lizzie. I don't know what you're talking about. What was it last year? She did the fuck, what was it? Mm. LED lights for a bidet. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, wait, no, this is a serious step down from previous years, Lizette. I don't know, it's kind of sexy. Okay, well, I don't have a boyfriend to impress us here now, do I? Oh my god, that boy was homophobic, that was I just swear. Not good for you, Lizzie. Ooh, yikes. My turn. As punishment to Sun Young, I've changed my mind. And I think I can put this to better use than even. Oh, you know, right? Knock yourself out, kid. Oh yeah. <laughs> Date night, babe. No joy. Matt sounds like an ass. Yeah, sometimes you need some ass. So. I don't know. I still would have vetoed him as the eighth member of our group. Well, I wouldn't need to fill that quota if you two would just hurry up. No, just come up with an extra 13 grand. And a sperm donor who is not Nick. Oh, they're fast swimmers. A little black baby's gonna be so cute. I know, right? That curly hair and those big almond mm -hmm. eyes. Stop. Don't worry, babe. You'll still be my favorite token black member of the group. How sweet and thoughtful. Time. Why's it gotta be white? <laughs> Come on, babe, it's good. You're good, they're good. It's all good.
I gotta start thinking of fun uncle names for it to call me. I have to start looking into a thing called restraining orders, okay? I cannot believe it's that expensive to have a kid. Oh, just wait till you hear how expensive it is to keep one alive. You gotta keep one alive, too? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why else do you think we're still friends with you? My wit? That's me. My naive at charming stupidity? That's Nick. Your money. Or rather, your mommy and daddy's money. How dare you. We would never steal from old man Robert and St. Esther. No, no, not steal, but I mean, come on. When you inherit this palace and decide to sell it, you're just gonna have too much money to know what to do with it. <laughs> they can move in here, get out of that downtown shack that they I have. I like to say it's quite... I think quite... like kind of Upgrade is all I'm saying. Mind you, his version of upgrading is turning our only guest bedroom into a showcase for his tennis equipment. There's just a lot of history Your tennis equipment, Nick? Yes, Lizette, my tennis equipment. Can't a man enjoy the little things? All well, the little things I enjoy are too fleeting. Oh, I uh, brought you some more Prosecco. It's in the fridge. <gasps> no, nobody leaves this room until we finish this. Uh, okay, uh, yes, sorry. Uh, message received. All right. <clears throat> it's tradition, Karis. You married into it. Yeah, and I respected that tradition back when we had one gift to exchange. But I mean, come on, there's more presents than there are people. I think we're all just in a oh, festive. Karis, don't ask us to do math. Nick can't keep up. I can do math. Like, um, what do you get when you subtract one mat from one, desperate to keep anything she can, Lizette? One kick in the dick. Use your hand, coward. Damn. Okay, with the Martha Stewart wrapping, I see you. <laughs> yeah, if I'd seen that one, I would have made different life choices. Fuck you. Space Jam's a classic. Oh, oh <laughs> Stuck up and shit. <laughs> he doesn't mean anything by it. What's even worse, that he's gotten used to talking to me like that. You said you wanted to be more accepted into this group, did you not? And this is how getting called a bitch five oh, minutes Julie, after he's talking shit about the people he likes. It's how he shows he cares. Well, you are not showing me that you care when you do The fuck do you want from me, Julie? You want to be a part of this group, a bitch about who they are? No, I want you to have no, my back. No, you just want Nick to stop being who he is. You want Lizzie to acknowledge you more. You want Karis to, to, to drink less because it makes you uncomfortable. You want to make all these fucking demands. That's what you want. That... Shit. showing off. What the fuck? <sighs> Jesus Christ. What the hell? Song Young. What? <laughs> Babe, you're a freak. I did not do that. Plot thickens. Does it say thanks for the weird ass gift? Hi, I'm Sun Young and I'm a creep. <laughs> okay. I must confess that my entries have been intermittent as of late. Okay. I am weary in the road difficult. More directly, I am cold. But I would be remiss to not commit tonight's happenings to memory as the details are most interesting. I am, from my count, roughly 200 miles from the Arctic Circle, four weeks in the great boreal forest of Russia, months since my ears have happened upon the voice of another soul. This journey would be fraught, I knew, prior to setting off, but the quiet is not a pitfall I had prepared for. 
and it is quiet. The distance and the desolation that set me to scribbling. For in the maw of this cold, dark place, I happened upon a man. He stepped from the trees into my path. Perhaps two meters from where I now stood silent. He was not at all surprised to see me. Expected me, nearly. Crowned with a circlet of wood, as if he fancied himself a king of nothing, he was one of the tallest men I had ever seen. Most detail is lost in the darkness, but his height will forever stop my breath, even in memory. He had no supplies, no pack, nor skis, no visible signs of being a fellow explorer. Nothing but a bottle and a box. Evening, I said, unsure if this apparition spoke my tongue. Evening, he replied, in the bouncing cadence of one raised in the far reaches of Scandinavia. Would you like a drink, he asked kindly. I was struck by his tone. Even in the darkness, I could tell he was smiling. Spirits on a cold night to warm your weariness? I had only to think of my cracked and wind-blown lips before agreeing, thanking him as I took the bottle. Would you also take this box, he asked, proffering the thing? Why I agreed to this, I cannot say. The longing for companionship, the fear of angering a stranger in this black place, Perhaps I will never know. But as I turned to leave, he spoke one last time. It would be best for you to not remain in possession of such a thing by next Christmas. When I looked to him to inquire in such bizarre implications, the trees had already swallowed him up. The memory of the rest of that night fades from my mind. I know I drank the bottle grateful for its warmth. I know I held the box tightly that night for whatever reason. And I know, with a certainty chilled into my bones, that by next Christmas, I must be rid of it. Quirky. Demented. So I guess we should play Who's the Group Psychopath? Well, you guys are fucking weird. I wish I never married into this group. Mmm, home alone time. Somebody grab their Prosecco and cookies from the fridge. Oh my god, look, it's snowing. See, I told you, a white Christmas. <sighs> oh, it's kind of beautiful. That's a disappointing dusting. <laughs> dandruff. Nick knows a lot about dandruff. And Lizette knows all about being disappointed. Y'all better shut your mouth during this movie. Oh my god, enough about the movie already. Jesus Christ. <laughs> and Don's had a major crush on McCullough when she was a little. Yeah. It's overrated. It is kind of, yeah. We could always watch Space Ham, Uh, no, no. Maybe you could open the DVD case and there would be a little pentagram scroll outside. Oh my god, please. 